In this video, you are going to learn how to construct the Lorentz curve. Lorentz curve. The Lorentz curve is mostly used in economics to visualize the income or wealth inequality. Constructing the Lorentz curve involves the plotting cumulative percentages of variable against the cumulative percentage of total population. By plotting and plotting a several Lorentz curve on the same plan, we can compare the distribution also. The main diagonal of this square joint in 0, 0, and 100, 100, it is called as perfect equality line. It's the perfect equality line. This is called the Lorentz curve. The Lorentz curve usually shows the degree of inequality in the distribution of the variable. If we consider the income distributions by this Lorentz curve, shows the degree of inequality of income distribution. The closer the Lorentz curve is to the perfect equality line, the more equal the distribution. The further away it is, greater inequality. Then, now, we should get clear idea how to construct the Lorentz curve. What are the steps in constructing Lorentz curve? The first one, first step, you should calculate the cumulative percentages of variables. If we consider the income, you should calculate the cumulative percentages of the income. Then second, you can calculate cumulative percentages of population. In third, get a graph. In fourth, plot in the line of perfect equality. And next, plot the Lorentz curve, connect the points, and finally, you should interpret the Lorentz curve. Here are the examples regarding the number of households and daily incomes in 1000 rupees for a certain city. In first step, we should calculate the cumulative percentages of the variable. In these equations, our variable is income. Then you have the data, you can calculate the percentages. Right? Then you can calculate the Cumulative percentages. Before we calculate the percentages, we should uh, get the total value of this income column. The total value is 5000. Then you can calculate the percentages each of the income by dividing from 5000. Then this 10%. Similarly, you can calculate the another percentages. Next one, 12%, 650 divided by 5,000, also 30%. Next, the 25%. The final one, 2,000 divided by 5,000, it is 40%. Here are the percentages of income. Then we should get cumulative percentages. The first cumulative value is 10%. Then another one, 10 plus 12 is 22. Then next one, 22 plus 13 is 35%. Then 35 plus 25 is 60. Then finally, 60 plus 40 is 100. In second step, you should calculate the cumulative percentage of households. The other number of households. Then you can calculate the total number of households, then calculate the percentages, 50 divided by 250 into 100, it is 20%, then 30%, 60 divided by 250, 24%, 40 divided by 250 is 16%, then finally 25 divided by 250 is 10%. Then you can calculate cumulative, first one 20, 50 plus 30, 50, then 50 plus 24 is 24, 24 plus 60 is 19, then 90 plus 10 is 100. Then this done. Here are the summaries, cumulative percentages of households, cumulative percentages of incomes. In third step, 
you should create the graph with the x axis representing cumulative percentage of population and y axis represent cumulative percentage of variance. Then our examples x axis uh, represent cumulative percentages of households, y represent cumulative percentages of income. Then I create the a, then y axis also. The x axis names cumulative percentage of households, y axis cumulative percentage of income. Then I mark the percentages values. Um, okay, and zero, twenty percent, forty percent, sixty percent, eighty. And similarly, y axis twenty, forty. Okay, then hundred is now zero, twenty, then eight. Last page. Then third step is done. The fourth. Plot the line of perfect equality. The perfect equality line is marked 0, 0 points and 100, 100. Then you can create the diagonal also. A diagonal line. Then this name is line of perfect equality. Line of perfect equality. Next step, plot the Lorentz curve. In the Lorentz curve. Uh, in the coordinate plan, the cumulative percentage of household is twenty percent. In twenty percent, the cumulative percentage of income is ten percent. That's the point. Then cumulative percentage of fifty. Then twenty-two. Fifty like this. Twenty-two. Then 74, 74 is uh, 35, 35, the middle of the next 90%, then 60. Final point, 100. Then uh, other point is uh, 0 to 0. I mark the to join the curve at this point. Okay. Then next step, connect the points. We are marked points. Now we should connect the points. Then after the connecting these points, you can create the Lorentz curve. Then you start. Okay. This one. This is the Lorentz curve. Then final step, you should interpret the Lorentz curve. The main diagonal line, it is called the line of perfect equality. That's a, our Peter Lorentz curve. The Lorentz curve so far, the perfect equality. Since the Lorentz curve is far from the perfect equality line, it is indicates a significant disparity or significant inequality in the distribution of income. Um, the, there is a inequality in the income distribution within the households. This is the final step in creating Lorentz curve. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a Lorentz curve. I hope you found the information helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. We love hearing from you and engaging with our videos. Once again, thank you for being a part of our community. I will see you in the next video.